about radio. Um, there's the finished item. I'm uh, not a hundred percent happy with it yet. Um, but that's uh, the three RPM motor. Uh, it's a 12 volt motor. I think I've got it at 15 volts at the moment. Uh, you'll see I just put a little uh, mouse hole in that uh, connecting arm, and uh, I don't get quite as much. Uh, um, movement on the capacitor as I uh, had anticipated or as much as I'd got on the other. So I've got it fully closing there. I'll just reverse that. So that's in its uh, fully closed position there, so fully engaged. There. Hopefully I'm getting this in focus. Um, and that little mouse hole is just <laughs> just clearing the shaft there um, and then uh, the, that's fully open there I think that's right yeah so um, you can see I've still got a bit of engagement there I tried a couple of different holes in the connecting rod here um, you remember I said these dimensions were very critical and uh, this, uh, this will give you some idea um, let me do, I'm sorry, let's just see if I can show you what I'm talking about if you look at the dimensions from the center of the motor shaft to the center of the capacitor shaft there uh, that's 50 millimeters and then here I've actually got um, something just slightly over 50 millimeters but uh, I in put another set of holes here just to try it and um, they're just a little bit longer there um, but uh, that's not enough to give me the extra movement so there's a, an issue with the length of uh, e either the rotor arm or the rocker arm but it'll only be a tiny amount I think I need to come up with some way of making this uh, adjustable make one of them adjustable um, but uh, I need to flog through it and so say it, it's, um, it's ever so complicated so it's deceptive this thing it's it's very simple um, but it's uh, <laughs> yeah, only when you get everything right but I'm, I'm happy with that let's say that's running at um, uh, 15 volts let me show you the, the sort of speed of the capacitor I'll throw it everywhere um, and I'll just turn the voltage down. Um, uh, that's six volts. So I don't think that's uh, that's going to be a problem. Tuning at that rate will be good. And remember, um, with this mechanism, the idea is that it's it's a fail-safe device that doesn't need any extra limit switches or slipping clutches or anything. Um, essentially it can't go wrong <laughs> famous last words uh, it can't wreck itself um, you can reverse it anywhere in the cycle and what I've done here by uh, using the um, this plastic material it means I've got uh, excellent isolation between the drive system and the capacitor I will uh, change these and, and get more angular displacement if I can because um, I know if I don't do it today I'll never do it anyway that's uh, that's what I've got so far just put the volts up that's 16 volts so that's uh, that's way over driving it but um, And that's back at six volts. That's it. Hmm. That's working at three volts now. 
and uh, man, that's impressive. Yeah, that's a real gentle uh, motion. So uh, no, I, again, I'm I'm tickled pink with that. Yes, that's real slow motion on the capacitor uh, movement, isn't it? I'll show you this. I bought a hundred meters of uh, what, what we call bell flex over here, and it's um, uh, it's two core, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter squared uh, cross sectional area. So each uh, each conductor is 0 0.5 millimeters square, and um, the uh, the resistance uh, for one core is uh, 18.3 ohms. For the hundred meters, so for the two cores, that's uh, what's that? Thirty-six point six ohms total. So I'm just going to put that in series with the motor and just let you see uh, what we get. Uh, this is interesting. I've got uh, twelve volts on the input there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, eleven point nine eight. Or thereabouts, and uh, on the motor, we've got eleven point three eight. So uh, we can work out the current that the motor's pulling. But then that's with a hundred meters of uh, very thin cable. Um, so that's uh, that. That again is is good. Um, I was expecting these little motors to pull more current and I was anticipating a, a bit of an issue there, but uh, obviously uh, not a problem. What I've done is uh, got that little uh, rotor arm and I've uh, put a brass bolt in that hole there and cut it off <laughs> badly and I've tapped another hole at the side there so it's a real budge but it's, uh, it's allowed me to increase the uh, the the length of that arm by about a millimeter. So uh, I'll see what that is. I need to come up with some way of uh, making this uh, an adjustable arm, but uh, I just can't be bothered to uh, <laughs> cut another lump of aluminium at the minute. Well, that was no good. I uh, I've slackened this nut off here, and uh, you can see I can uh, I've set that for maximum engagement there, and uh, just that millimeter in length here means uh, I can't get over that center there. Um, I say it's very critical dimension. I've never made one of these uh, so short, but it's become real twitchy. So I've got to make this arm uh, adjustable in its own right. I wasn't happy with the amount of angular displacement I was getting on the capacitor here. So uh, what I've done is uh, that was the original hole that I drilled where I put the brass stud in there and uh, I'm considering the distance from there to there that one uh, didn't give me enough displacement uh, I drilled this second hole which is about a millimeter further away from there so I've increased the distance from there to there by about a millimeter and that actually caused the mechanism to lock up. Uh, it's a it's sort of question of uh, not getting uh, past about there somewhere. Now what I've done is I've shortened that distance there. I've got another hole there uh, so as to shorten the distance from there to there. And that's about half a millimeter um, uh, more than the original one and half a millimeter smaller than the shorter than the uh, the last one and that gives me now about 145 degrees angular displacement on the capacitor so any more holes in this bit of metal and it'll look like a Swiss cheese but uh, anyway um, I'll replace that at some stage but uh, this this will be fine for the time being
Well, that actually took longer to put to bed than I uh, anticipated, as uh, I had to mess about for quite some time with this little rotor arm. But uh, now I've got uh, 145 degrees of displacement of the capacitor, uh, so it's doing everything uh, that I want it to. As I say, the idea is that it is a, a, a system that can't destroy itself, uh, it's fully uh, reversible at any point. Um, it'll work down to a very low voltage, so it'll go very slow if I want it to. And it's a, an extremely simple control system. Say so it's two wires to the motor, and um, just a, a simple reversing switch, just an ordinary DC motor. And uh, the, uh, just show you the, the engagement there. I haven't checked that uh, minimum capacitance, but it's only going to be a few picofarads. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you found that uh, interesting. Uh, the next video will be uh, me putting this on the, um, on the loop antenna and uh, firing it up and seeing what, it, uh, what it's like. There, that's at 12 volts and that's at 3 volts I need to zoom in it looks as though it's barely moving so that's got to be a lot simpler and uh, cheaper than messing about with a stepper motor um, I suppose with a stepper motor you could go to some predetermined um, uh, number but uh, anyway that's not not what I set out to achieve this this is exactly what I wanted I thought this was uh, relevant for anybody that's working QRP or portable and uh, I've got this uh, drive connected onto this uh, 100 meters so let's think, think of that as over 100 yards of uh, this bell flex and um, that's um, 36.6 ohms total resistance and I just got a little uh, uh, 9 volt battery there and you'll see that little 9 volt battery uh, quite happily drives that uh, that motor there so reverse it and it just goes in the other direction so I think if you were working uh, portable it just makes it very interesting you don't need a power supply or anything complicated to uh, to do your antenna tuning I'm saying that's that, that battery is an old battery so it's uh, it, it might be nine volts but it might be a good deal less okay thanks for watching guys bye bye